Hey everyone, in this video I will discuss a question of oral pathology from NEAT 2022. Which of the following precancerous lesion has malignant potential? The options are A. OSMF B. Erythroplakia C. Oral lichen planus D. Syphilitic glossitis The answer of this question is option B, that is, erythroplakia. Almost all true erythroplakias demonstrate significant epithelial dysplasia, carcinoma in situ, or invasive squamous cell carcinoma. The causes of erythroplakia are presumed to be the same as those associated with oral squamous cell carcinoma. Oral submucous fibrosis is characterized by juxtaepithelial and submucosal deposition of densely collagenized, hypovascular connective tissue with variable numbers of chronic inflammatory cells. Epithelial dysplasia is found in 10 to 15% of cases submitted for biopsy, and carcinoma is found in at least 6% of sampled cases. Lichen planus is a relatively common, chronic dermatologic disease that often affects the oral mucosa. No significant degree of epithelial atypia is expected in oral lichen planus, although some lesions may have a superimposed candidal infection, and these may appear worrisome. In tertiary syphilis, the tongue may be involved diffusely and appear large, lobulated, and irregularly shaped. This lobulated pattern is termed interstitial glossitis and is thought to be the result of contracture of the lingual musculature after healing of gummas. Diffuse atrophy and loss of the dorsal tongue papillae produce a condition called luetic glossitis. In the past, this form of atrophic glossitis was thought to be precancerous, but several recent publications dispute this concept. So, the precancerous condition with most malignant potential is erythroplakia. That's all for now, see you soon with the next video. Thank you.